So let's go ahead and build this growth path for the solo model when technology increases at some time period. Let's just call this time period zero. So remember the growth path, we're going to try and look at what's happening to output and also what's happening to my level of capital per person. So both these are in per person terms. And the growth model is a time series model, right? This growth path, we're looking at how things are changing over time. It's time series. So what do we know? Well, okay, let's just make some sort of arbitrary level of time period equals zero. And before this, there's no change in our solo model, so we must be at a steady state. So let's say that we have a steady state. This is my steady state level of capital. Let's call this K star. And we have a steady state level of output per worker. Let's call this Y star. But then there's a change, right? There's a shock to the system. Our shock is that technology increases. And what did we see when we looked at this in the solo model? Right? When we looked at this in the solo model, what happened, we know that at some point in the future, we ended up converging to a new level of K star. Let's call this K star prime. So we saw capital increase. And we know if capital increases, then we're going to have some sort of Y star prime here as well. So we know it's going to get to here somewhere at the end. So what happens in between? Well, for my capital, for like, I know this is my K sub T. I know what happens is we have the shock and then we start to move. Our capital is what actually moves us towards this new steady state. But what happens with our output? Well, what's our equation, right? Y is equal to A times F of K. So notice, even if K stays the same, an increase in A will increase my output meaning we're going to have a small gap and we're going to have a jump before we see the capital start to take over and increase my overall level of output. So the growth path here for a change in technology, there will be an amplification effect, right? We're going to see this small gap. And the reason being is because this is going to be the level, right? This is going to be that output which is equal to A times F K, right? But that's going to be with just the change in A and capital still being this level of capital right here, right? So this level of capital is going to be input to the new function, right? But that new function has a new level of A because A prime is greater than the initial level of A. So at the same level of capital, we see a small jump before we start to see the convergence of K take over to getting us to our new level of capital that is the steady state.